สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. I am so excited today. I am finally introducing you to one of our national junk food, and that is Mama. Yes, Mama is our like national brand of instant noodles. Um, I am making Mama noodle salad or Yam Mama, which is actually a very common dish that Thai people make. You know, because most Thai homes will have Mama around in the house, and so one thing that's very easy and very delicious to do is to turn it into a salad. So let's get started. So here are the mama noodles. There are many, many different flavors. There are more flavors in Thailand. If you're ever there, check out the instant noodle aisle. It's super fun. Now you can use different flavors for this recipe because we're not using the actual seasoning packet. But there are some that you can't use. Okay, so I'm going to point out that this one, for example, is actually a different kind of noodle. This one is rice noodles. The one that we want is the classic noodles, which are made from wheat. Okay, this is a pork. Flavor. It's a super classic. It's the one I'm gonna use. Okay, the noodles inside should look like that, and it's the one I'm gonna use because it also comes with this garlic oil inside, which I'm actually gonna include in my dressing. This classic tom yum flavor. This is really popular. It's the one I usually have in my pantry. Um, it doesn't come with garlic oil, but it does come with a little packet of chili paste, which you can put in the salad dressing if you want for something different. Um, one note. Sometimes there's a jumbo pack. Usually the flavor of the jumbo pack is creamy tom yum. So it's tom yum soup, but this one it's got a creamy broth. Sometimes it'll be bigger than average. So make sure you look to make sure that the noodles are 55 grams. Just for the sake of this recipe, you can still use it, but don't use two full packs like I'm about to use in this recipe. Okay, so there is my little mama 101. The noodles, by the way, you can eat dry, and like kids love eating these because they're fully cooked. They're deep fried and crispy. So as a kid, I would just break it up, put some seasoning in there, shake it up, and just eat it like chips. So good. Okay, I'm gonna put these away and let's make the dressing. So the dressing, as always, will be made in my little mortar and pestle here. I'm gonna start out with a Thai chili. You can make this as spicy or as not spicy as you want. I'm also going to add some cilantro stems. I saved the leaves so you can toss into the salad later, but I love just mashing the stem into the dressing. I'm gonna pound that into a paste. Okay, so it is now mostly a paste. And now I'm gonna add some palm sugar. You can use just regular white sugar for this for sure if you don't have it. I'm gonna pound that until it's dissolved. Oh, that looks good. Now, of course, it's a Thai salad. We're gonna add some fish sauce. Yay! But I am adding just a little touch of soy sauce into this as well, which is not usual for a Thai salad. But I do find that it. Really works with the flavor of the mama noodles. You can do all fish sauce if you like, um, and lime juice. Lots and lots of lime juice. You will notice that I'm using less salty in this dressing. That's because the noodles themselves have some saltiness in them. So if I made just a regular um, yum dressing, I find it's a little too salty. I'm just gonna throw in some thinly sliced lemongrass. That'll just give it some extra texture, extra aroma, extra flavor. And you know what? Everybody, I feel like, has their own version of Mama salad. So this is just my version. Please feel free to do with it whatever you want. And last but not least, I already added some fresh chilies, but I'm also gonna add some dry chilies, which always comes with the Mama seasoning pack. It's a small one, and I think every flavor has it because it's you know for some people who want things a little more spicy. And I just find that because dried chilies and fresh chilies have different flavors, right? Um, I just find that both flavors really add extra character to this. Now, how much should I add? Let's add both. And that's it. Yay! All right. So in my mixing bowl here, I have got some onions and tomatoes. Now I am using sweet by Dahlia onions, which I love in the salad. But you can do whatever kind of onions you like. Set this aside for now. I want to talk about mama. I'm going to blanch these, and these only take two minutes to cook. But I want to break it first into about four pieces. Otherwise, I find the noodles too long, and I like to do that in the back so it doesn't fall out all over the place. Yeah, like chunks like this, I find makes for a nice salad. So I'm just gonna add that to my boiling water here. Okay. 
Now at the bottom of every bag, there are these broken pieces of mama here. I like to save these so I can sprinkle them on top so I get, you know, crunchy bits on top of my salad. But it's up to you. If you want, you can just eat them right here because they're good. That's done. I'm just gonna fish it out. Ooh, and you definitely don't want to overcook these because they can become mushy pretty quickly. And now there's a reason why I am fishing them out rather than pouring them into the strainer because I want to save that water to blanch my protein. So while that water is still hot, I'm going to add some shrimp. You can do any kind of protein you like, but I feel like shrimp is the more common one. And I'm not pouring them down because I don't want splashing hot water. And these will take literally 30 seconds. That is it for the shrimp. I'm gonna fish them out now. I have one more protein to cook. I'm gonna turn this off and get rid of this water. It's very common for us to add ground pork to this salad and actually mixes in with the noodles really well. So I would recommend having some sort of ground meat in there. If you don't eat pork, you can have chicken. Even ground beef might, might be good. Um, but let me just drain this water. All right, remember that garlic oil from the mama packet? Yep. I'm gonna use that to saute the pork. Isn't that genius? That's totally genius. Whee! Ooh, delicious. And break up that pork, and you just wanna cook it until it's done. So as you can see, the pork has released quite a bit of liquid in there, and I wanna keep that liquid in the salad because that's really flavorful stuff, but each time you make it, you're not gonna have the exact same amount of liquid, which means you will have to taste and be prepared to adjust for seasoning. All right, and now all we have to do is put everything together. So while the pork is still warm, I'm gonna pour that right over the vegetables and it'll help sort of wilt the onions and warm and soften the tomatoes a little bit. The noodles and the shrimp, boom. Now, since the noodles have been sitting a while, it's gonna look a little clumpy, don't worry, that's when you pour your dressing right over the noodles and all that liquid will help soften and release a little bit. There we go. Mmm. Now, oh, that looks good. Mmm, that smells good too. It looks like it needs some greenery, does it not? Aha, uh -huh. so I'm going to add some Chinese celery. So this is Chinese celery. I've got the leaves picked and I've chopped the stems and if you've never worked with Chinese celery before this is what it looks like. So it's basically like a skinny and leafy version of a regular celery basically and if you can't find this you can just use regular celeries and choose the inside stock so get the leaves get the inside stalks and chop it up it'll work just as well. So in that goes mm. and I'm also gonna throw in just a handful of the cilantro leaves we use the stem in the dressing remember so now everything gets mixed and these noodles really absorb dressing really well which will make them super flavorful. You know this is like a huge amount of mama salad but I find that one pack is too small and two pack is pretty big but you know you can never have too much mama salad. Ooh, Look how beautiful that is. And only one thing left to do, and that is to eat. Yes, that's right. Oh, you know what I forgot is I forgot a little sprinkle of the dry mama. There we go, we'll just do it for this bite. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, so, so nostalgic. Mm really refreshing just the right amount of acidity and the noodles mama noodles in salads are the funnest noodles ever because they kind of like the curly and wiggly and they kind of dance around in your mouth and they really absorb all that dressing the celery gives it that touch of, of floral quality tomatoes are sweet and juicy the pork's a little chewy and that dry bit of mama noodles it's like flavor and texture party in there so easy and really, really great dish in the summer. Again, it's served room temperature, even cold is fine. Oh, and I can still taste that garlic oil. Mm. 
So the recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, I definitely want to see it. So send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure you do so so you don't miss an episode. And also click that little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you will get a notification when I post a new video. And if you love the show and you want to support us, check out the Patreon link in the description below. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.